Just cracked some eggs and some milk into a bag of Doritos. This is gonna be a good video. Hey guys, what's up? Who's ready for another round of testing viral, I was gonna say makeup hacks. Wrong channel. But today we are gonna be testing out some recipes that I found that just looked really interesting, did really well online, and um, we need to test them out and see if they're actually good. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you check out the playlist. I have a ton there and subscribe. New videos here every Saturday. If you're not already subscribed and if you are already subscribed, welcome. Hi, how are you doing? How's, how's your weekend going? <laughs> We're gonna start like a really quick and snappy one. So I had to snap to <laughs> emphasize that. And this is a dupe for the Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I don't, I, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't had this before, which is why I actually went out and bought one so that we can kind of compare and contrast and see if it actually tastes really similar. It looks really pretty. Ooh, Baja Blast, so pretty. Look at that color. By the way, you like how I ordered it without any ice in it because didn't want to dilute it. Smart. Even though I have right here, <laughs> ice, but I'm not gonna put it in yet. I just wanted to see like visually the, the color and see if it was similar. We're gonna grab the ingredients that I saw a girl use. So hopefully this tastes very similar. I didn't know that Mountain Dew made Baja Blast exclusively for Taco Bell. I think you can buy it in stores too, but the more you know. So I have my little pitcher here and then we can kind of compare side by side what they actually look like. And it looked to me that they did half of it as the Gatorade and then quarter split between Mountain Dew and Sprite. So I'm going to try and keep those ratios for in here. Not gonna fill it up all the way, but you know. Let's start with Gatorade. Okay, let's start with, with half of it. I was really scared for a minute that that was gonna explode everywhere. Do you notice how Sprite bottles aren't green anymore? I haven't, I'll be honest with you. Like a really long time. Coffee is my drink of choice. And lemonade. Everyone has a thing, right? Yeah. I have cookies, lemonade, and coffee. That's what I would rather drink than this. That's just, that's just me. I'll start with that. Please don't explode on me. All right, that one was fine. I was a little dramatic there. Now I'm just trying to color match. I need a spoon. Mixy mix. And then color comparison. Honestly, that's really close. That's really close. This is a little darker. I'm gonna like dilute it, I guess, a bit. I feel like it needs more green. It needs more green? I feel like it needs more clear. Ah, uh, you might hear it. Maybe a little bit more green. It's just looking more intense. Maybe I'll, if I put it in a glass, it looks different. Are we similar? Oh, you're right. It does need more yellow. <laughs> it needs more yellow. Again! <laughs> okay, what about now? Okay, that's pretty close. Christopher, what do you think? Let's see. Like really the biggest difference is that this one looks more diluted than this one. That's pretty close. Oh yeah. You wanna taste test it with me? Yeah. I'm kind of excited. I used to really like Mountain Dew. Really? As like a, you know, oh, preteen. Yeah. Is that the original? I think so, right? Yeah, that's the original. I don't yeah. know why I asked. I knew that it was. <laughs> kind of flat. Tasty though. Very flat. It's kind of flat too. <laughs> well, all right. Probably because of the Gatorade. Mm. Pretty similar. This one is too Gatorade forward. Like again, the video I saw, I was just sort of like guesstimating based off of what she put together, but I think it needs way more Mountain Dew and Sprite. Let's try it. Again. <laughs> Although that is going to make it um, more fizzy. Yeah. But now it doesn't look anything like that. No. I think we added too much Mountain Dew. Well, it could be a fight between like getting the color perfect or getting the taste perfect, right? I guess so. Okay, let's see. I mean, it tastes good. This one's more subtle though. This one packs a punch. <laughs> I was also going to describe Mountain Dew Baja Blast as subtle. <laughs> <laughs> I thought better of it, but I'm glad you said it. Ah, I don't think this tastes bad though. No, it doesn't taste bad. I like this more. Oh yeah, no, I do 100%. But like, this is a fun looking punch. Yeah, I just, I, I much prefer the original. So let me know in the comments if you've tried this before and where I went wrong with the measurements. 
It's also hydrating. So right? hydrating. And also, I think, doesn't Mountain Dew have like a ton of caffeine in it? Used to. Caffeine content. Oh, 52 milligrams for 355. That's not very much. No. A cup of coffee is like 200. Yeah. So is it's it? about the same as tea. 150 maybe? Maybe 150, but still. I mean, it's not nothing. Wait, don't run away. Oh, that was good. Thank no. you. <laughs> ah! What do you need? Um, I wanted to see if you wanted, wanted to help me with some chicken later. Later. Yeah. You don't have to be part of this first part because I think you'll cry. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. And this chicken is Doritos coated chicken. But the way that she made it in the video was interesting. Do I think that this is necessary? No, I don't. Because she just basically took the chips and cracked some eggs and stuff into it. Don't get me wrong, I understand that that was all for show. Do you need to do it that way? No, no you don't. But it definitely got my attention and it looked really good when she finished. So um, we're gonna stay true to her method and I will let you know if I feel like it's easier doing it this way. It just feels a little wrong to crack eggs into a bag of chips. But we're gonna do it, we're gonna power through. So I have my two eggs. This feels so weird. Whoa. Okay, well, there's one in there. I don't even see it. It's gone away. By the way, this is not a full bag of Doritos. I just, I just feel like I should say that right off the bat. It's about like a quarter of a bag. Two, and then a little bit of milk. Oh, I can feel it's cold on the outside. This is so weird. Just cracked some eggs and some milk into a bag of Doritos. This is gonna be a good video. And now I need a, I was gonna say a stick. Nope, and all that, aha, rolling pin. And she put it down, folded it over, and then she, Oh, let's get all the air out first. There we go. And then she just went like this to it. Now, do I know if they were already whacked so that they were nice and small? I don't, I don't know at all. She could have just poured a whole bunch of like crumbs in. I'm going to assume that she's doing it this way. Maybe this is easier. Maybe this is less work, everyone. Honestly, this is not that bad. What does it look like? Gross. So now we have goo. It's it's goo, and it's not fully. Um, they're still like full. Oh, this is, a, this is a nightmare. But alas, we shall proceed. So now I'm gonna take some chicken tenders. So this is just chicken. It had uh, what do they do? Pepper and onion powder, garlic powder, and then flour. And then she dropped them one by one into the bag. Boop. She shook it around. And I don't know how you can do that. I don't. I am speechless right now. So mad. All right, let's get this chicken out. Oh, this is so gross. Remember how I said that maybe this would be an easier way? It's not. I hate it. Thanks so much. I hate it. Well, um, I guess I'll just do it this way. Oh man, don't do this. Do not do this, everyone. You're gonna do it this way. Do the egg thing beforehand. Don't throw it in with the <laughs> Doritos. Ugh, blech. This better be delicious. There is no way this is gonna work. There's a, like, I can't, I can't envision a world where this works out. So angry at the internet. I hope at least that you are entertained <laughs> by my sadness. All right, now hands are washed. This is so much less goopy. So now we're gonna go over to the stove because we are going to shallow fry them. Hey guys, I'm heating up the oil and it's just like, I can't in good conscience make this this way. Like I'm gonna have to fix it. She must have skipped saying that the bag was just full of Dorito crumbs or whatever. This isn't gonna crisp up the way that I think it should. So <laughs> hold on while I fix this. So I crumbled up a little bit more of the Doritos that I had saved and tried to more evenly coat the rest of them. So I'm hoping that this will be a little bit better, but just <laughs> don't do what I did. All right, we have the final product. It looks really pretty, right? I think this is gonna be tasty. Christopher? Yeah. You want to try some chicken? I have a little chicken. 
Chicken fingos? Chicken fingos. I'm gonna pretend you <laughs> didn't see the disaster I started with. We're just gonna look at the result. Ooh, ah, pretty. Well, don't look at that one. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that over top. Look at that. Oh, oh so, so pretty. Better. All right, crunch. Okay, I'm really scared because we've tried these types of things before and it always tastes like stale chips. Right, yeah. We always say like, it's probably okay. better fried. <laughs> so now now we're gonna find out. You can just pick it up. I don't I know why say, I cut it. I don't know, formal. like I, re I really went formal with it. There we go. That doesn't taste stale. I was just gonna say, right out of the gate, not stale. Better than in any of the other forms of Dorito crusted something we've tried. Mm -hmm. Is it like phenomenal? It's pretty good. I'll be honest with you, I like it. It's quite good. I like the second bite more than I like the first bite. Mm -hmm. Weirdly enough, I feel like it needs salt. Oh. That's weird because I don't. <laughs> weird role reversal there. Oh, it was just a bite. It was fine. No, I feel like my problem is when I hear like Doritos crusted blank, my expectations are sky high. Like yeah. Doritos are delicious. If you're gonna crust something, fry it, whatever. Like it's going to be the best thing I've ever eaten. And this is just a very tasty chicken finger. So it's unfair to not be excited. It's very tasty. It's good, but you do go through a lot of Doritos for a very small amount of chicken. Okay. So if you're feeding a crowd, I don't know how many bags of Doritos you're gonna have to go through for that. Up nope, Costco, yeah, but, party size. They do have the party size, that's true. But definitely get the get it all crumbly first and then do that whole thing. You don't have to worry about it, it's fine. <laughs> result, result, Christopher. This worked out well. Mm -hmm. So hey, can I tell you about my next thing? Nice, delete these. All right, tell me, before we leave this, are we making a mistake by not dipping this in cool ranch sauce? Yeah, probably. That would be very good, actually. Or like a hot... Ooh, could you put sriracha in that? I don't know. Ooh, like a buffalo ranch? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know if we mm, have any ranch. This would be good spicy. Do they make spicy Doritos? Sweet chili heat, but they're not spicy. I love sweet chili heat. That's my number one for Doritos. OG forever. Mm-mm. They're very good. I'm not mad about them. No, they're really good. So pasta. Okay. So... Remember when we bought... Pasta, the big pasta. The, the big pasta. Yeah. I'm so yeah. excited about it. I saw online... I don't even know how to pronounce this. How do you pronounce this? Colon Pompe? I assume it means Pompe's column. I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah. History lesson. But there are these giant noodles where three of these is considered a serving. Three. That makes sense. Those are thick. They're huge. Mm. They wouldn't, I honestly feel like they're gonna take forever to cook. So I'm kind of excited because I just wanna see what it looks like once you finish making it. And then I was like, well, if we're gonna be testing out that, like what other pastas can we try? Cause this one was hard to find. So it's not just the size of this. It's, this is like one of those geographically protected products. It's what? That um, symbol on there. It's it's like a like a Parmigiano, uh, Reggiano? Reggiano or a uh, Modena balsamic or something. Like it's it's a geographically Specific. defined thing. I have these ones when you told me that we're doing this one. Well, yeah, obviously. Want to try? Because you said long, long weird kind of crazy pasta. noodles. I and thought, so... okay, how does that compare? So I got these two. These are, I mean, way thinner. They're not close, but I'm curious how they taste in comparison. And these look really good. I, I've never had either of these before, but they have a really nice rough texture, which should hold sauce really nicely. And what sauce are you gonna make this one? Aglio olio, the, um, the binging with babish. Uh, one we did a long time ago. I've made that since. It's really good. Christopher mentioned it in a video a while ago. He was like, yeah. I really want to make it. And I was like, this is the perfect chance. Because mm -hmm. the kids don't like it as much. So like in video, we absolutely need to make it. I am prepared to be convinced that it's good because you say it's delicious. And I didn't like it the first time, but I really want to like it because it's really pretty. I think it was just too much parsley in the first one. So That's I possible. cut it back. And all right. I think it's good. Okay. So are we going to boil them all? They're big enough we can boil them all at the same time. Yeah, but they have to be laying flat. There's no cutting these. Do you no. take your noodles and like break them? Like no, snap no them? you don't. No, no don't no. do that. No. Because <laughs> I want this to be like a giant long strand. But are they all gonna cook at a different time though? These are gonna take a lot longer. Yeah. Or are you just gonna parse them out? You're gonna keep those in and like take the other ones out when they're done? I'll put these in first. Give them a couple minutes. Oh. 
I was working the other way. Yeah. See, my toxic trait is thinking that I can eat like seven of these. Three, that's not enough. I can definitely eat more than that. Okay, I need to show you. In comparison to a strand of spaghetti, everyone. Look at that. <laughs> that is just so funny to me. I don't know why I find this it's so endlessly amusing, but I do. And it's gonna get bigger in the water too. Of course, yeah. Let's boil this up. So while Chris is busy over there making the, the pasta, we're gonna go on to um, a brownie, going on to dessert, of course. And this is for a microwave brownie. And it's not just because of the microwave brownie, but I love this woman. <laughs> Two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of oil, a little vanilla, stir, a quarter of an egg, stir, one tablespoon of plain flour, stir. Just her voice, the way she says stir, it just makes you so happy. So I wanted to make her brownie recipe because she said you can make a really, really good brownie in the microwave. So let's try it. I feel like I've tried a lot of um, desserts in the microwave before, like many years ago. We haven't done a microwave recipe in a long time. Yeah, like a cup, one of those like cup related ones mm -hmm. where you like put a bunch of ingredients in and then like throw it all together. Yeah, it's been a minute. Okay, so she takes brown sugar and oil and a little splash of vanilla, and then she stirs that up. Okay, we're going to stir. Can you see that at all? It just looks like a bottomless hole in my screen. And then we're gonna put in one quarter of an egg. One quarter. And probably save the other quarters for other brownies. And give that a little stirry stir. And then we have flour, cocoa powder, boop, floop, and then a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And we're gonna stir that all together. I'm really trying not to overmix this. I feel like that's very important. All right, and then I don't have white chocolate like bars, but I do have white chocolate chips. Can you see how many are left in here? It's because I just eat them by the handful. I'm gonna toss them all in here. Ah, mine. Give that a little quick mix. And then she just puts it in the microwave for 35 seconds, 30 seconds. I'm gonna put mine in for 20 because I don't trust my microwave. No one should ever trust their microwave. Now her mug is not as um, tall as my mug. Like she does kind of wipe off the edges, but um, I'm not gonna do that. So here, here it is. I'm hoping you can see it okay. And now into the microwave. 20 seconds. I would rather have an underdone brownie than an overdone brownie. I'm just gonna have my coffee. What have you done so far? I just taste tested them. They're still a little bit uh, too al dente. Too al dente, all right. Okay, brownie. Brownie is not done. Another 10 seconds. Really don't wanna overdo this. I don't know that. I don't wanna go more than that. Looks done. All right, I need to taste test this. Ooh, that needs a minute to cool down. I will burn my face if I eat that right now. So instead I'm gonna drink some, drink some coffee. Ooh, garlic. Got some nice garlic in the pan here. The noodles are coming along. Ooh, ah. They look a little bit like, like monsters. <laughs> yeah, sea serpents. Yes, 100%. And then we have the parsley over here, all ready to go. This is gonna be delicious. That smells so ridiculously good. Isn't that nice? Like, look at the difference between the noodles. I kind of wish we had done a strand of spaghetti. It's <laughs> for <laughs> a little spaghetti strand. Oh, he tries, and yet. So the first thing I wanna note is that the tall ones, the Colin Pompey, stayed structurally set. They're, they're all intact. Yeah. This one mostly did. There were a couple that broke. Can I just say one thing very quickly? How much I want my curls to look like this. This is the perfect wave that I think we all aspire to have in our hair. Anyway. We do, yeah. <laughs> Good for this one though, this was the biggest intact piece I could find. Oh. Yeah, they all broke apart into little pieces. So Interesting. I don't know what the issue is there. Weird. Uh -huh. Where do we want to start? We want to start with the broken ones and work our way up? Sure. See, that's so much better. It's so much better when there's not as much parsley. And that's a really good quality pasta. Mm-hmm. Like that tastes good, but you don't get the long strand. Again, I understand that this is all just pasta, <laughs> but I still need to taste that all of it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a really good one. Yeah. 
Why is that one so much better than the other one? I don't know, but I like that shape. Just like a curled, open-ended tube. But like the texture and the taste is so good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. Grab your guy. Or just one eat this. Well, it's either Lady in the Tramp style or it's you grab your own and then every man for themselves. I feel like this would be really, really greasy. To... I feel like there's something less wholesome about Lady in the Tramping that versus spaghetti. <laughs> I agree. I'm just gonna. Are you gonna cut it? Well. Ah, that's really good. That's like a meaty piece of mm -hmm. pasta. I understand why they said there's only like three to a serving. How many of those could you eat? Have I had an appetizer? <laughs> or is this the full meal? This is this is the full meal, how many? Could or should? Could. Like, what would you know, make like for 12? yourself? Like you I... make 12 for no, yourself? No, 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 I could <laughs> eat 12. I should, I don't know, five? Five. Yeah. Five feels reasonable. Yeah. Because no one eats the exact amount they're supposed to of pasta. A serving size is nonsense. Yeah, mm. that's really, t okay, so which one was your favorite then? I don't think it was close. I think it was the Bacciatelle lunga, the yeah, second yeah, one. Yeah, that one was very good. Mm, that one was really good. I'm. Do I like this one as much? Or do I just like it because it's fun? Maybe you could do like a strand each as like a little appetizer. Yeah, twist it all up yeah. with like a sauce. The know. sauce adhered to all of them beautifully. Mm. That's really good quality pasta. Mm -hmm. I would say that if you're making a um, like a meat sauce, mm -hmm. the the column ones would probably be best you get more meat in there, right? It'd be super meaty. Yeah. That would be really fun. Ooh, actually, I almost forgot. Oh, yeah. I have a brownie. <laughs> have you tried it yet? No, oh. I didn't I didn't want to burn myself. This doesn't feel cooked. No. It looked so cooked. I was convinced mm. it was cooked. That's pretty sludgy. Wait, wait. <laughs> That's cooked. <laughs> one side is cooked and one side isn't. Now you put it on the left of the microwave, right? No. Christopher! <laughs> you know, eat from that side. I hate my microwave. I said it, said it's your face. Well, you put a lot of chocolate chips in there. No, I didn't. <laughs> you put a lot of chocolate chips in there. <laughs> but I had was mostly chocolate chip. Honestly, it's good. It's very brown sugar forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, I have, I would have to play around with my microwave Wouldn't to figure make out. Wouldn't again. But Not I bad. mean, you can though, yeah. is what I'm saying. Yes, it works. Christopher, I thought it was good, okay? I love her. Well. This was fun. Let me know in the comments if you've come across any of these recipes in your travels or if there are any other recipes that we should try out next time. And if you've missed any of these types of videos, make sure you go and check out the playlist. I will link it here for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic Saturday and I will see you guys all next week.